you're anything like me, you're asking yourself, where in the world do you find somber smithing stones number seven? Well, I'm going to show you two different locations, three stones total, starting off at the royal capital. Now I'm going to enter it from the top right corner here. If you want to do that, you have to defeat this tree sentinel. The only thing limiting you from doing this early in the game is your ability to take out this tree sentinel. From there, we're going to go straight to the east capital rampart, Side of Grace. Don't worry about getting lost here. It's a linear path. Just find it simple now from there i'm going to actually hold your hand from this location to the smithing stones or two somber smithing stone sevens down where we're about to go i'm just going to run past all these enemies as many of you guys will likely do as well if you're getting these stones i'm not going to speed this up because i don't want you guys to get lost and it's frustrating when you have to rewind and pause the video or end over but we're going to head this way inside of this door there's going to be an elevator if you've never taken it before just hop on if you have you may have to pull the lever. Get on the elevator, take it down into the next building. As soon as we enter this building, I'm going to climb a ladder to the right, and that's going to take us up to the rooftops. We're going to travel across the rooftops for a little while. Now, if you look to your left, there's going to be some enemies. That is not where we're going, so you don't have to worry about them. To the right, you're going to see a yellow painted roof. We're going to jump on top of this and then follow this straight back Straight in front of us is going to be some mobs. Just ignore them, and past them is going to be a staircase heading down. All right, now we're going to go into the building in front of us to the left. And coming out to the other side is going to lead us to a site of grace. Make sure you use it. And then we're going to continue down the stairs some more. Now, as soon as we come out through the store, you're going to see an archer out in the distance. He will shoot at you. Best way to avoid him is to just go to the left, follow this. Now, we're going to jump over the railing to our left. Let's hire a building here. And just past there is a well. We're going to go into this well, travel this for a little while. We're going to open that gate. It might be locked or shut. It doesn't require a key, so just open it. And we're going to continue down this way. Not a whole lot's going to immediately kill you. Not yet. Just wait. You're going to come to a section with some rats. Don't worry about them. Just keep running forward. Go through this door, turn left, and then we're going to drop down to the next floor below us. There is an enemy wandering around down there, so I'm just going to leap over here and then quickly go through this door to the left. There is a site of grace once again. This will be the last one before we get the smithing stones. So we're going to take a left out of there, find another ladder going down. It's at this point, you may want to light your lantern if you have one. Now, once we're down here, we're going to turn to the right. We have to jump to the next platform. Be careful of the gap right here. A couple mobs are going to fall down from above. That's okay. Now, you see my lost runes here just to the left. I am going to actually jump off this point to a pipe below us. Now, you have to jump to the more elevated pipe because if you drop straight down, the fall damage will kill you. So make sure you jump forward. And then right underneath me is a lobster mob. It's pretty dangerous. Down below, it's going to be two bodies you can pillage. This one here is going to contain Somber Smithing Stone 7. Now, just ahead of me, there's going to be a little half pipe. And then around the corner to the left, there's another one. We're going to go inside of here, find one of these little balls, and kill it. That will award us two Somber Smithing Stones in this single area. If you don't see this thing here, by the way, you're in the wrong one. All right, so the next stone I'm going to show you is part of Ronnie's quest line. Once you get the Carrion Inverted Statue, this is halfway through Ronnie's uh, quest line. Once you get that statue, head over to the study hall. Go down the study hall, go across Long Bridge. You're going to come up this big tower, and you're going to get the Curse Mark of Death. At this point, you can now go through Rena's Rise. This is the Three Sisters area. Previously, this was blocked off by fog. Go to the very top of this and take a portal, and that'll take us to a brand new area. Your quest is to get a little miniature Ronnie doll, which will be right near the site of Grace where we spawn in. But if you just travel a little bit further from that site of Grace, you're going to find this guy. Don't worry, you can't get lost. Just head straight through it. And then once you defeat him, he's not a boss. He's just going to be a very tough mob. But once you defeat him, you will then acquire our third somber smithing stone, number seven. Certainly there's going to be more throughout the game, a little further on where I'm at. These are just the first three that I was able to get to in my playthrough. don't believe there's any quicker earlier access for them as far as I'm aware. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this guide helpful, please hit that like button. Let me know if you got these stones and if there's any others out there. 
Thank you for watching. See you soon. Please subscribe.